What's up guys, it's David here from PhoneBuff.com and in this video I'm going to show you Samsung's motion control settings that comes with TouchWiz 4.0 and uh, you'll actually see this on multiple devices. This is the at t Galaxy Note here but you'll pretty much see it on any other Galaxy device um, other than the Galaxy Nexus that's running TouchWiz 4.0 whether you're the International Galaxy S2 or the T-Mobile at t or Sprint rebranded version. So with that said, I'll go ahead, go ahead and go over to the settings and show you the motion control settings. As you can see at the top, I have it activated um, by having the check marked and you can see the four options that I have. I have tilt to zoom, pan to edit, shake to update, and turn over to mute. So I'll go ahead and show you each one of these uh, starting with the tilt to zoom. So I'll go ahead and open up my gallery. Here's a picture of my dog and I'll go ahead and zoom in and out of the picture. So obviously you could do the multi-touch uh, pinch to zoom, which you know what we're familiar with. But if you wanted a different method of zooming in and out, you could actually put two fingers on the screen whether you're like this or with your two thumbs and um, you could actually pan the forward or you could uh, tilt the phone forward and backwards and zoom in and out. So it's panning in and panning out based off of uh, how I move it. And of course, the faster I go, the faster it'll go. And the more I tilt it, the farther it'll go into uh, zooming in. So it works there in the gallery. It also works in the browser. So I'll go ahead and show you that really quick. So here's the browser, same thing, two fingers, and I can zoom in and out. So pretty cool little feature there. Um, the next one is the tilt over to mute. So I'll go ahead and start playing a song really quick, and then um, I'll tilt it over. So there you go. So you can see I tilted it over. It automatically pauses the song and mutes the sound. It doesn't just work for music, though. It also works if you're getting a call and uh, you don't want to you know, pick it up right then and there. You could flip the phone over to its face and it'll automatically put it on silent mode. So another cool feature. And um, the next one I want to show you is not necessarily the most useful one, and that's the shake to uh, search. So I'll go ahead and go over, it's for Bluetooth. So I'll go to wireless network, I'll go to Bluetooth settings, and you can see right now it's not scanning for any devices. If I shake the phone, now you can see it's scanning. So I really don't know how useful that is. Um, I mean, you could just press the scan, for devices button. Um, I think it's just more or less, that's more of a gimmick than anything. But anyway, that's another feature. And then uh, the last one I wanna show you is, let's go to the settings really quick, is the pan to edit. So you could actually change the sensitivity too in the uh, settings for uh, just about all of these options. But what I'll go ahead and do is demonstrate it really quick. So say I wanted to move um, the location of this little shortcut right here. So with, if you've had Android before, you know how it works. Um, you have to press and hold at the edge of the screen in order to get it to move. Now, sometimes that can be kind of difficult, especially if you have a case on the phone where you're not really able to get close to the edge. What's cool is with this phone, you could actually, or with this feature, you could just tilt the device over like that and uh, it'll actually move from home screen to home screen. So if I wanted to go all the way over, I could do that, drop it, and there you go. So that's motion control settings. Um, it's honestly a pretty cool feature that comes with TouchWiz and uh, you know, I mean it doesn't necessarily hurt the experience So I welcome it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick demo. All right So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe and don't forget to visit phonebook.com for more cell phone news reviews and how to's. Thank you